Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is just a straight stick. So first you have to gather everything that you're going to need, which is gauze, alcohol pad, your needle, your needle holder, a tourniquet, and co-band or a band-aid. So the first thing I do is get the needle ready. Now that the needle's ready, I'm going to open my tourniquet. And today we're gonna to be collecting um, three tubes. We're gonna go gold, green, and lavender. Now the gold tube, this is your um, serum separator tube. So this is gonna go first. Your green tube is the sodium heparin tube. This is gonna go second. And the lavender top is the um, EDTA, EDTA. So this is gonna go third. Okay. And I almost forgot a really important part. Gloves, hand protection. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look at her arm. I'm gonna put the tourniquet on, see what we're working with. Um, apply the tourniquet. I always make sure that the tourniquet is nice and flush and it doesn't um, roll over because that doesn't feel very good. And then I'm going to tell her to make a fist and hold it. I'm going to palpate the vein. She has a pretty good vein so you feel a little bit of pushback. It's almost sponge-like. I'm going to get my other glove on. Do the alcohol. You're supposed to work your way out. And as a courtesy, I always dry the alcohol. Okay, and then you're going to pull back the safety feature. Take off the cap. You're gonna to wanna to pull back on the skin so that you're anchoring that vein. And I always tell the patient you're gonna feel a little pinch and you can relax your fist. First tube. Now this is something when I was in school no one ever told me, but take advantage of the little um, feet that are on the hub and pull back on them as you're pushing in because you wanna keep the needle as steady as possible. This is going to ensure that your patient doesn't feel a lot of pain. You always wanna invert your tubes after you draw them. And I'm not going to fill this whole tube. Invert. And you'll notice that I'm keeping the needle really steady. You want to apply a lot of pressure onto the arm so that you're not moving the needle around. And that's all of them. So we're going to pop the tourniquet. Again, keeping the needle steady. Make sure it doesn't come out. And we're going to ask them to apply pressure. She's holding the camera though, so I'm going to do this for her. The pressure is going to activate the platelets, which is going to stop the patient from bleeding and prevent any bruising. So I usually just ask them to keep it on for about 20 minutes. And that is how you do a straight stick blood draw.